Hi. You're a good girl. Can you stay there so we can see your pretty face? Yes. What's the secret? What's the secret? We all got secrets for me. Hmm? You guys make me so happy. Mwah! They're like, don't kiss me, mom. Don't do that on camera. What is different about the kitty one to you might ask? We have finally decided that we were gonna make it easy on ourselves. Mark has made this wonderful door from our old raised garden beds. We repurposed them and made a nice door. It's gonna go right here. Oh, oh my gosh, I have a door! <laughs> the ghost are out there like, what? Look how nice that is. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be so happy about this door. Here you guys can see. You guys are always curious. Here, like There's what? Bug Eye Bell. The door? Where's Bug Eye Bell? Hi, Bug Eye Bell. Oh, so cool. You heard console. Like, they're like, oh my god, there's a door to get in there now. So Willow, now you can bring it right out. Yeah, to the Willow, and we're ready for you. But honestly, the the raised garden beds, that's kind of what spurred this because we now have a couple of different boards like pressure treated boards that we don't have to go buy or worry about how much it's gonna cost us at the, the lumber store, the hardware store. We actually had it on hand. So sometimes when you have all those things on hand, it makes projects a little less cumbersome because you're not having to go and figure out how much you're gonna spend on it. So we didn't spend anything. We already had the hinges. We already had all the screws that we saved from the garden boxes and the boards came from the garden boxes. So re really this doesn't cost us anything but a little bit of time and effort, which in the grand scheme of inflation, doesn't seem like all that much. <laughs> I feel like we saved a lot of money. You feel like we saved a lot of money, babe? I agree. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate it. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. <laughs> we were actually just talking about how it's kind of funny when you do things the hard way <laughs> or you've gotten used to going like the long way around doing something, you almost stop looking at it as an inconvenience because you just it just becomes part of your routine. But then when you do take the step to make something easier on yourself, you realize how much time and effort you wasted that whole time with just avoiding a little bit of work. So we finally got a door. I can see out this, I'm in my lean, my kidding lean too, and I can see out. We repurposed the wood and there's the mastermind of all of it. Yeah, he finally was talking, he talked me into it. He's like, wouldn't it be nice to have a door here? And I'm like, well, now that you talked about it, yeah. It would be nice to have a door here. <laughs> Ugh. You're being naughty. You're being naughty, dreamer. You're being naughty. Get in there with your mama and your, your brother. Here you go. Oh boy, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Can you get that other one? In? Oh, you're gonna get stuck. You're gonna get stuck. You want some help? You want some help without running? Hello, my little girl. Hello. Here we go, Miss Dreamer. Here we go. Here we go. Back in with your mama. Get yourself a little comforting drink. jumpy feet and then we've got you can see the difference between Willow's buckling that was born on Wednesday and these guys that were born on Saturday today's Monday so there's a big difference between these these pairings so actually my little girl over there I didn't know she was gonna make it but she only weighed 1.95 pounds she didn't even weigh two pounds her brother right there ended up weighing about two and a half pounds. 
and then this big old chunk over here. He weighed four pounds at birth and she weighed three pounds at birth. So there's still a big difference between the two, even though they're only about four days apart. Wait, three days apart. But they're all in here having their first play date together. So I've started putting their moms back out on the field for a few hours a day so that they can integrate back in with the herd. And so that when we start to put these babies out with them in the herd as well, then there's not a whole lot of tossling. They're not really trying to establish their hierarchy with these little ones kind of in the mix. So the mamas getting to go back out is good because then they get to reassert with the herd without having to worry about the babies. And then the babies get to have the cutest freaking play date ever. And it also gives me a chance to let these guys get a little bit hungry. I want them to get a little bit hungry because I want to be able to bottle feed them. Now they are being dam raised, but since we're doing milk testing this year, I'm going to have about a 24 hour period where my kids cannot be on their dams because I will need that period to let them fill up and to take samples of their milk, both in the evening and the morning. And one of the criteria for milk testing is you take a weight of how much milk was produced at each milking. So if I have these babies on their mamas, and they're not gonna produce as much, which means they won't get the full credit for their full lactation in like a 24 hour period. So I have uh, decided I need to be able to teach them to uh, take a bottle so that during those 24 hours, they're not as stressed because they can still get milk. They won't be able to get it from their dams, but I'll be able to give it to them periodically throughout the day. So if these guys get a little bit hungry during the day at such a young age, where they are, there they are, they're so cute, then it makes them a little bit more likely to take that bottle so that I am approaching a hungry kid that wants milk, they figure it out, and then they start to associate the milk, the bottle with food. And it's not so hard to break them into having a bottle every day. Oh, you guys are just so cute. Hello. Hello. You are just so cute. Do you have blue eyes? I'm not quite sure yet. Not quite sure yet. And then his little sister over there is so tiny now she does have blue eyes and she is so cute I think I might name her chicken hawk from Looney Tunes because chicken hawk was so little and then was super spunky and trust me when she gets up and goes she's got some spunk already at two days old dreamer has figured out she can go between these different panels. So I figured for her side, I'll just leave it open and she can, she can go. There's really nothing out here that she can really 100% hurt herself on. So she should be okay in here. But just to be safe, I'm gonna go and take the extension cord out. And uh, Mark is pretty awesome. So you guys have seen, it's kind of new for me to have a door here, but Mark was wonderful and put a latch so I can uh, keep it nice and closed. And so that when I'm milking, because behind me, we're in the, we're a little bit in the middle of redoing our milk room. So that's why I need the latch on the door so that when I am doing my milk testing and I have all my does in here, because we have a door in there now too that leads straight out into the field, that I can kind of keep them partitioned away without them creating too much havoc in here. It makes it easier for me to, to put them in and out of the field instead of taking them out and around and they can technically get loose and run away from me in the yard, which they're all very driven by food. A grain bucket would fix that. But it does help, and it's making our life a little bit easier. But stay tuned, we've got a lot going on in this room. It's gonna look a lot different here in about a week. the funnest time to watch them grow. <laughs> parkour, parkour. <laughs> it is so hard to believe that Willow's kids are already a week old and they are just thriving. They are super healthy. And Tiana's little two that weighed in at a whopping 1.95 pounds and 2.5, I think. I have to look at what I wrote down are just bouncing with energy. It's amazing to watch them grow and to see how resilient they are. 
Uh, 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 chicken hawk, what are you doing? Don't go out that way. See, Mama doesn't want you to go that way. And really right now, they've all moved from their kidding stalls back here. And now they're in the back portion of our kidding lean-to where we've got a big open space where does can kind of congregate. The babies can play and get to know one another. <laughs> Little chicken hawk. She's so, she is still so tiny, but she has so much personality. But you guys remember, Mark put a door in for me. So I've been letting the does out to let them get a break from their, their kids. And it's been super easy, but... We're gearing up for our next bit, but that's why Tiana is, is out. <laughs> Tiana, hey, no. That's why she's out, is we're cleaning out the old stalls and getting them ready for the two new does that are coming in tonight, which is going to be Mossy and Haley. They're at that five day mark prior where we start bringing them in in the evening time and letting them out during the daytime. Now, Merida should be out right now, but sometimes they get close and she's been acting a little different today. She's been doing a lot of laying down, so I'm just trying to keep good track of her and see what it is that she's doing and try to make sure that we catch her kidding so that if she needs help, I'm here to assist. Right? Yes. Oh. Right? Right? She's probably just never gonna like me. I just love watching these babies play and really discover their own personalities. But I think that's going to do it for us here today on Mulberry Branch Farm. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching all of these cute babies. I cannot wait to bring you guys along on the journey and to watch them grow up within our herd. I can't wait to bring you the next birth. It looks like Merida's going to be the next one to have babies. So you guys stay tuned. But I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for spending your time with us. We hope that you're all staying safe out there and being kind to one another. We're going to catch you in the next one. Bye, y'all, and God bless. Little gremlins.